Hey everybody, welcome back to T-Roy Cooks. I appreciate it very much. Got my gas grill fired up, my DCS gas grill. We're gonna be grilling out back. I've got a uh, nice looking prime, USDA prime ribeye for myself and a USDA prime filet mignon for Karen. And we're gonna be doing some corn for a side and also some Brussels sprouts. Now Karen's gonna take care of the Brussels sprouts inside and I'm still working on a great recipe for that. So I'm not gonna show you that, just show you the end plate here. But um, for this corn, it's, it's Mexican street corn basically and it's called elote. And I've done a video on this before back when uh, Chef Antonio Bourbon visited me. So I'll put a link to that video right up here in the corner so y'all can check that out for a more detailed look at how you make this street corn. Um, right now I've got the corn on the grill and it's browning up really nice and we're fixing to get those steaks started up. So y'all stick around. It's gonna be a great video. Wish y'all were here to smell this. Oh, it smells some kind of fun. Stick around, folks. <laughs> All right, everybody. Now, as you can see, I've got this corn on here and I didn't get the corn in the husk. What it's partially covered in the husk. As you can see, here's a little bit of the husk right here. But uh, what I've done, just got this on here. And we're just kind of making it, uh, you know, kind of charring it a little bit. And I'm gonna take this husk off and totally finish charring it on this other side over here. And again, I just wanted the husk on there. That's gonna help give it some really nice, really, really nice, oh, that's hot. Uh, smoky flavor. Okay, so you take this, char the other side. That's gonna be some great corn, y'all. Stick around, and uh, I'm gonna get these off here pretty soon. We're gonna try to keep them warm and throw the steaks on there. All right, everybody, we're back fixing to throw these steaks on, as you can see, filet, ribeye, goodness gracious. These are going to be some fun. And it's, this is an inch and three quarter, probably close to two inches. I'll set it up on my bread rack. We're going to do a reverse sear on both of these because they're pretty thick. On those thicker cuts, you can do this with a reverse sear. It's the best method I've found to do it. And also, I wanted to show you real quick. I've got this uh, Red Monkey seasoning. Y'all need to find this on the internet or in your local stores. Red Monkey, man. This is, I love this savory steak. It's, it is m perhaps my favorite, in fact, I think it is, my favorite and Karen's favorite steak rub right here, Red Monkey. Let's go check it out. All right, we're going to let these babies cook on this. Uh, let me put it up here where y'all can actually see them. So I'm on my bread rack up here. And we're going to let these uh, go for probably half hour or so. We'll probably flip them in between. And then we start getting to around 110, 115 internal. And then we're going to do a quick sear on each side. And we'll bring you back for that. All right, everybody, let me show you what we got here. I pulled all of the husk off the corn. Got a little bit of melted uh, butter. This is salted butter and a little bit of garlic powder in here and a little bit more salt. Uh, just going to let put a little bit of this on this uh, corn real quick. And I'm going to rotate it around after it sits on here for about a minute and touch up the other side with a little bit of this butter. And I pulled my steaks off, and right now they are resting. Uh, they're about 110, 15 degrees. And we're fixing to throw them back on. I got my grill set to high. We're fixing to sear them on both sides. I'll bring you back when we do that. And there's my ribeye. Here's Karen's filet. And we're gonna go probably two minutes on each side. Fixing to pull everything off. We'll meet you back inside when we're plating it up. Let's check out this fine looking steak, folks. There we go. Let's see if you don't see that. I'll tell you what. Look at that. Nice. It's a nice medium. That's the way I like it. Medium, medium rare. That's for me. Oh, man. I'm telling you, that red, red monkey, that's some fabulous seasoning. Karen's got this uh, Brussels sprouts. That's good stuff, man. Hmm. That little bread here. With that corn. Y'all check this corn out. I'm gonna set the plate down. Nice. Now what you didn't see, and you'll see on the other video, again, I'll put a link up here, uh, for street corn, Mexican street corn. There's this mayonnaise sauce that goes on it. It's got some uh, some chili pepper and stuff in there and a little bit of lime and stuff. Put some cilantro in there if you want. And also, it's got some cheese. Usually it's 
cojita or cotija cheese. I can't remember which way you spell it, but anyway, you melt that on top. It's good stuff, folks. I'll check this out. Oh, man. Y'all have got to try this corn. Grilled corn by itself is fantastic. Picking up that little bit of chili heat. Oh, man, this is, this is fabulous, folks. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. We're going to be doing some more grilling and smoking and cooking out back. Looking forward to it, folks. Again, thank you very much. Y'all give me a thumbs up if you like this one. Hope y'all uh, share the video. And when you do, I hope you tell all your friends. T-Roy cooks responsibly. <laughs> See y'all next time, everybody. Mm, my gosh. That is good.